So I want it. What's up, folks? Is it live? We are live. You are live. What? You're live. I'm live? Yeah. All right, guys. So tearing back into the little Johnson today. We got this guy. This is a new used, used new carburetor. Um, we're having a little bit of an issue, or I think it's a little flooding going on. Um, opposite of what we were having with the original carburetor, but we're going to take some of the new parts that we got for the old carburetor that was giving us too much hell. Um, we're going to slap them into this new used carburetor that came off a running motor, um, but needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, yes, yeah, so there's the original carburetor from the engine. So we got a couple new parts we're going to throw at it, but we're going to throw them at this one instead. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see if it works. Uh, we did get it to fire off this guy. Um, the only problem was that the, uh, it was idling up real high, so I think it's still flooding out, but it was, you know, at least sending fuel the right direction before with the other carburetor, we had fuel coming out the intake. Um, and it was, you know, giving us some weirdness, probably needed the idle circuit really cleaned out, but we didn't have the, the stuff to do that. And, uh, having the spare carburetor didn't hurt because it's always good to have parts, especially with this 59, which you can't buy new parts for other than like gaskets and stuff. So having the extra carb body didn't hurt us. And uh, yeah, we're gonna pop this guy off and switch some stuff out. If you hear the fan, uh, that's. That's, that's, that's not how you install a cutter pin, folks. That, that defeats the purpose. That collar pin's bent, bent for safety. Show them how it works. Look how easy it just comes out. No. It's actually in there pretty good. Ah. And it's gone. Forever. Hope we didn't need that. All right, so that goes. And pop off this, this guy. We're going to strip all the float bolt screws. Show us your bolt hole. Not sponsored by showusyourboathole.com. We should be, though. We'll show them our boat hole. All day, every day. I think somebody's been in here recently. These are... Our boat hole? A lot looser than yours. I don't know what's wrong with your boat hole. <laughs> we do have a flooding issue, which could be the ethanol gas destroying the float. But we got a new float. But we got one that's resistant to and that. We, we threw at the motor. We got a new needle and seat that we put in the existing carb. We're probably going to throw that in here too because we don't know the condition of this one pending taking a look at it because we literally bought this off of eBay, slapped it on, and then, uh, well, it didn't do exactly what we wanted it to. It didn't carburate. Good surprise. Man, look at this sky. That is, that is beautiful. Just look that at is, it. That folks. is nice. Well, come on. And here comes the big reveal on the carb. <laughs> Why is it not focusing? That's gay. Well, the sky looks a lot better than it does on camera, because it's not focusing. All right. So, previously, previous carb, now donor carb. New carb. She looks damn nice. But how does she perform? This float looks a lot uh worse. It looks it looks newer. Let's see if I can lose the the pin. I lost the pin on the other carb. The fuck? plastic it's plastic sorry guys I don't know where the uh, 
the lens is. See, this is one thing that they say is like bad about these because see that that movement? Yeah. It seems like the coating on this guy, it seems like it's a lot better than the existing one, but we're going to go ahead and upgrade to the new one that's supposed to be ethanol resistant. Look at that. You guys see what, what happened there? What? There wasn't a, uh, there wasn't a clip on the float for the needle. Yeah. Maybe that's why we've been flooding. It was just, you notice that? I just took that off. Hold on, folks. We're going to play back the footage. We'll be back to you. I think this looks like, like, okay. Well, guys, we uh, went back through the footage and there was no clip. Like what's on this carb. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little metal clip right here that holds the needle to the float. And it wasn't on the carb that was off of a running engine. Somebody was in here and didn't know uh, what was going on. So we've got the upgraded, which hopefully should fit float bowl that this box is accurately oh. sized for. It says this side up. Uh oh. <laughs> the camera's down lower, sir. Mm -hmm. Up here. <laughs> Are we zoomed in? Yeah, we were zoomed in. Damn, we got screwed. It's just cardboard. Look at this. I have a feeling that's not the right part. What the hell? What the f I cross-referenced this part number. What did, what did we get? It's a surprise. What? What is this? Uh oh. What? I don't even think it will fit. Will it fit? No. I think I think we got the part numbers wrong here, folks. You versus the girl. You tell her not to worry. But wait. Oh. Well, that's. Guess we should open that. A month ago when we ordered it. No refunds. I actually, I don't know. Where do we get this from? Amazon? eBay? I think this was Amazon because everything I've ordered from eBay. Yeah. That's got, hopefully, not our address in the video. Um, so anyways, we're going to pull this out. I guess we're gonna use one of these floats. We're gonna use this this float because it seems to be in better condition. But we're gonna pull the needle and seat and the actual fucking clip that you're supposed to have from the parts carb. Parts carb. So you see that, guys? That's what that's what it should be. So you should have the clip so that the the needle moves. So then focus. focus. So that the needle, there you go. So the needle moves with the float, the float and there was no clip. Yeah, the other one was just free balling, free basin. So we're gonna take our new needle and stick it on this this float because this float looks to be in better condition as far as the uh, the lacquer coating. We know this one still floats, but we had some issues with this carb acting weird, and there's a lot more play in this than there is in this arm so we're going to use that this needle in this other carb doesn't look too bad it's obviously it looks like somebody's been in here but yeah the clip's gone you know we don't we don't know how to trust them because they obviously couldn't don't talk. know how to use cotter pins <laughs> yeah they don't know how to use cotter pins or clips things that make a difference and okay so my screwdriver doesn't fit Okay, we need a wider, thin screwdriver. Wider, thin? Well, this one's too thick, but it's wider. And that one's thin, but not wide enough to, to span the gap here. 
Momentary uh, break, folks. All right, folks, we got a we got some different tools here. So it does look like we had a different style of needle and seat, but we're going to go back with the new needle and seat that we had. Because we're not sure about this one. And we know we've got a new needle seat and seal here. So this one was... This one was new, new in brass. Camera's probably not going to focus very well. The lighting's not too good. But we're going to put this one in the new used carburetor. And then we'll put the old stuff back in the other carburetor for part storage. Like we got a little off kilter there. There we go. Yeah, so everything else that we've seen here looks looks nice. So we're like I said, we're gonna go back with the float from this carb, the needle and seat that we got new from the other carb. And I'm going to go ahead and put this metal rod in in lieu of the plastic because I don't trust plastic nearly as much. And then we'll put this plastic and stuff back in our now parts carb just in case. We had another one of these little metal rods, but I lost it. Luckily, I had some spare parts laying around. had one that fit. And see, now the, the plastic doesn't like to line up very well either. It's not there we go. Alright, so we're done with this guy for now. We're going to... Put this guy back together. So, one thing we want to see here... We want that to be pretty well level. With the car body. That's not bad. So this actuates good. Needles held and comes in and out of place as it should. So we're going to reuse this gasket because it's fairly new condition. Now we're going to go back in with our bolts here for the bowl. Just wiggle our gasket a little bit. You should never, never tighten all your bolts until you get them all started because it'll fight you and waste your time. It's going to be a lot easier to just make sure they're started first. So like here we got one that's not wanting to line up very well. There we go. So we got him lined up. And we'll just start bringing all these down. Got a little drip of rain here just as we're getting this closed in, so that's good. Get her sealed up from the elements. Finally got some decent weather out here in Texas, so we're trying to uh, not bake. take advantage of it. And then Labor Day weekend's coming up, and well, it's supposed to rain, but I mean, shit, we'll put the boat in the water if it's wet. We don't care. Wet? It's going to get wet on the bottom. It might as well get wet on the top, too. 
and the inside. Yeah, and it already, because of the fins on this boat, it already uh, brings on water pretty good. So we're not uh, we're not worried. We got a cup. We don't have a bilge pump, just a cup. Just a cup. If the the game warden asks, we have life jackets and all appropriate safety gear. And a whistle. We definitely have registration and a uh, appropriate gas tank. Sorry about the terrible lighting, but it's pretty warm during the day still in Texas, and uh, we're trying to get back to the uh, the good temps. But for now, we kind of work after hours. Just the other day, we mowed our lawn at three in the morning. Yeah, oh. the neighbors are used to it now. They only call the cops every third Tuesday. If you're watching this, we're sorry. We're not really sorry. Um, but anyways, so we're gonna put this guy back here. I'm gonna keep putting my hand where you can't see anything. So I'm a jackass. We're gonna feed this cotter pin in, you know, since you should never reuse a cotter pin. But let's be honest, this is a uh, safety third, a boat. Maintenance on boats is like the least important out of all the vehicles. Well, what's the worst that could happen? You're just going to die. So we're going to spin over the appropriate end of the cotter pin. So that can't come out. That's just our electric choke, which isn't even wired up. So take it, take that for what it is. But anyways, we're going to attach the ship back. So this is our high speed circuit here. Tighten this adjuster back down and then we're gonna go back to the boat, throw this on and be utterly disappointed when it still floods out and doesn't idle. <laughs> At least we're honest. At least we're honest. All right. We're live. Are we in time lapse so we can talk shit about the viewers? No, we're on real time. Hey, everybody. So, anyways, love our viewers. They really keep this channel going, get our sponsorships. Show us your boathole.com. Show us your boathole.com is a great, great reference. And uh, we really love to send people to our best sponsor, title sponsor, 1 800 My Puppy. And free puppy food. Dial 1 800 My Puppy and you get a lifetime supply of free dog food. All, All you gotta, gotta do is give them a short review. Tell them about your puppy. Yeah, you get bonus uh, merchandise sent to you if you send them a picture of your puppy. But um, it's a great way just to save money and contribute back to the uh community that's been suffering so much since only puppies came around but yeah 1-800 my puppy i remember the days when i could see to do shit back when i was in my 20s i just love where they put them bolts they put every bolt where you have to take something else off to get to it. It's a puzzle. Yeah, to get to the carburetor, you have to take off the starter. You have to start with the taking off the pull start, which we haven't even put back on to this point in time. We've been using the old uh, electric starter. Hell of a guy. We're going to hook our throttle linkage up here where you can't see because it's this dark side. and Jordan's on the other side. Shit. Hold up. Are you having trouble tightening it? Yeah, it's up against the uh, something. That might need more tightening in a second after I fix this. This side's tight. So we got a situation. Well, it might loosen up now. 
because this was like holding it back. It's tight. Hell yeah. I cross threaded it. Okay, we're gonna put our fuel line back on because that seems to matter. Let's see, our idle controls, that's, that's fine. We're gonna bolt our uh, starter back on. Just as soon as we get this carb, 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 carb thing tightened up. Carb, carburetor. Why are we gonna keep doing this before they don't know what we're doing? They're gonna see through our charade. I guess that's tight enough. So anyways, we're gonna put the starter back on. So anyways, I got the cutting. So you start with this bolt that's right behind the carburetor and you can't get to it. And uh, then you use a ill, Ill appropriately sized screwdriver to- uh, At weird angles. Try to turn her back in. Huh? Somebody out here, somebody out here will tell us there was an easier way to do this, and there probably is, but we're not the the brightest, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty dim out here. Yeah, it's, once it gets dark, it it's going? hard to see. Oh yeah, she's she's started. Now, if we could just say that about the motor. Mm. We like to wait until late, so that way when we're pissing off the neighbors, it's 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 already late. So. I like when it backfires and shoots flames, and the neighbors call the the cops. America, there's our favorite neighbor. <laughs> the guy loves us. He's calling the cops right now, probably. <laughs> Love that guy. Damn good guy. So like I said before, make sure you start all the bolts first, because... I think we're missing a bolt up here. That's... Uh, I don't know where that... I, I think that one goes to the pull start. It's not non-consequential. We don't need it. So once you get that, then you can use your power tools to make sure they're cross-threaded. We're gonna make sure that this guy up at the front here tightens down first because it's a pain in the ass to get to. Who put that there? Johnson. Show me your Johnson. Bombardier. We have genuine uh, Bombardier products around here. We have the whole ski that I fixed up and didn't film a single video on for nobody's entertainment. She runs great. What year is it? It's a 95. Just a scooch older or newer than this guy. Only by like 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I started blasting. So we're gonna put her to the test and see if we can get a hard primer bulb. You said hard. And uh, as soon as we find our where we put our fuel, I'm gonna get a battery battery hooked up to this girl. So this is the uh, five dollar Walmart adapter with the eight dollar Harbor Freight pump. That's where we were too stupid to just buy the right thing and they told us they didn't sell boat parts at the harbor but we proved them wrong we said what kind of harbor doesn't sell boat parts i think this camera tripod's junk that's that's what junk it's junk It's gotta be weird watching these videos where you guys can hear us because of our nice DJI microphones, but we can't hear each other talking, so we sound like idiots. So here's our Coast Guard approved boat tank. <laughs> Pump her up. We're just gonna whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Cheyenne choker. 
I reckon. You can't get to that bolt unless you choke it. She's like that. She's a naughty girl. I'm gonna try to use a little gravity here to help this process along. Say our filter getting wet. I was really hoping to see a hard primer bulb. This isn't the best setup, but I'm not super thrilled that I'm not seeing that. Like I said, we are using just a siphon pump. Siphon pump. I think that's what it is. Some kind of pump. So we just need to grab our battery and battery. Rig, up, rig up our start system here. Straight to jail. We also know we have a slight leak on our fuel pump, which we have a kit to rebuild, but we're trying to see if we can get her to run real quick first before we mess with the fuel pump. And that could be the reason that our primer bulb's not doing as good as it should. Where's that vice grip? On the hood? With the rest of the hood tools. We use exclusively hood tools here. I think you brought that whenever my bike was pissed. We could also have air leaks here at this crappy primer bulb that this thing like locked up on us and I had to blow it, give it a blow job just to make it work again. Tell me when. When will she crank? She's spitting fuel. Uh oh. Fuck. Why is it so wet down there? Try it again. Like it's fucking gassy everywhere down here. Like yeah. I'm scared if it backfires, we're gonna burn the house down. Uh oh. Try it again. See all that liquid coming out the exhaust? Uh oh. Well, guys. Yeah, it's fucking just look look below the motor. We're getting gas to her. Why is it? I, I don't understand. What? I don't understand. It's the only thing that it could act like is like it doesn't have spark, but it should have sparkles. Well, I'm scared if it had a spark right now that there would be fucking a fireball right here. Yeah. Because whenever you did that, or whenever I turned on the starter, I could see it. Look at look at the air compressor. It's covered with oil and gas. See, I turned the, the idle circuit down. Let's, uh, stay there. You see what this is? Wow. Show me your gas leak. We'll be back after a short message from nobody. Cut. All right, guys, so 
reading around online a little bit, somebody's saying that if we have a damaged diaphragm on this fuel pump, there's supposedly possibly a pass through to the cylinder, so we could be getting fuel leaking um, at the fuel pump into the cylinder and not actually be the carb flooding it out. So we're pulling this guy off because uh, we do have a little rebuild kit for it, and we're going to see if that could possibly be our issue that's throwing us off. And um, yeah, Let's see what uh, what happens. I guess in retrospect, we could have just hooked up the fuel line directly to the carb, and if it was spraying out, that would also tell us something. But should we do that? I mean, we still need to pull this off and rebuild her, anyways. You know, them, there's some use the needle nose up on top and kind of work it down a little bit. Like pull on it and push. Try and make it a little better. Fuel line fits good. Our fan really is uh, doing an A-plus job here. There you go. Should be able to get a little wiggle now. Perfect. Yeah, make sure we keep those separated uh, in the right area. Not that we can't figure it out, but you should probably take those other hoses off before you pop that all the way free. gives you something to to pull against oh yeah see that where'd that clamp go oh fuck the hose broke but you see that what it was full that, of gas that shouldn't be that full shouldn't gas? be full of gas not at all that should just be vacuum which is air right yep that could we'll be worry our, about that later could be a large selection of I'm our wet. problem you gotta get that bottom fuel line off too I know that. That's why I said to take both lines off before. <laughs> I think that, that vacuum line's long enough that we can pop her back on. If not, I think I think we have some extra hose. Y'all know where some hose are? Yeah, we got we got this. Hose for days. <laughs> I'm wet. Alright, now we can unscrew and then we'll bring her over to the old trusty tailgate workbench. And um, Try not to break the glass. Bust the glass bowl in half and then be fucked but anyways yeah vacuum lines are not supposed to be fuel lines just fyi how many more threads this this has been sitting up for 10 10 years oh, or more give, give or take four so these diaphragms are prone to, to drying out on stuff that sits but yeah we're trying to bring her back up to the 28th century here and see what we got uh, They're right here, I, think, I, I think I'm good right now. But yeah, we did move our drink fridge like closer. All right, guys. So this is our fuel pump. So there shouldn't be fuel in the vacuum line. So we're hoping we got a bad diaphragm in here, and that's a key player in this problem. Uh, let me find my pliers. <laughs> she said to the baby, I don't know what you're looking for. And I said this. Got my normal pliers here so we can. Damn. Let me. Should I just hold that? Hey, maybe if the camera was facing this way, it'd get a good lighting. Well, I think it's. Well, I mean, it's lighting itself now better, but I just keep, I keep putting my... Did you open this? No. Well, Someone did. I mean, yeah, somebody did. I technically opened it, but I didn't pull the stuff out. So anyways... Please be the right part. So when you seen gas shoot out of there, you knew that it was something. I knew that it was something. Where this is labeled pressure and not gas. That could be a good reason that it's basically pumping fuel into the, the crankcase instead of just into the carb. That clamp is a son of a bitch, isn't it?
We're gonna pull off our good piece of hose here. There we go. Is that hose junk? I told Jordan the other day that this hose was in really good shape. Yeah, I said should we buy more, and he said no. It looks good. So we've we've got we've got some line that we can put on there. That's probably two inches short. And uh, yeah. yeah. bust uh, these screws here not a nut I'll let Jordan man the camera because I can't see what the what I'm blocking out of you guys' view I'm really good about blocking it but we did notice there was a fuel leak from this the other day so we would not be surprised that this is ruined and could be a factor of our issue we just weren't thinking about the fact that this could be flooding the crankcase full of fuel. Now we got that braced up, we can pop these out a little easier. Probably all the same size. I'm betting we're going to see some nasty, cruddy, I'm a nasty girl stuff. Somebody going to match my freak? Kind of ease into it here. She's, uh, she seals good, kind of. I said, let's not break the bowl. I don't think there's any, we don't even have enough gap to. There we go. Focus. <laughs> so this is the main diaphragm. So apparently there's just springs that I don't know where this one came from. Might have to review the tape and this thing and that thing. See that? Looks like there's a hole right there. Looks like there's a hole right there. Oh yeah. That's a hole, folks. So, that's most likely the cause of where our fuel is getting into the crankcase. The we, knew this, we knew this was leaking from the side, but there's a straight up tear there which could have been from it sitting dry and then us going to work with this again but we have a definite definite tear and we may or may not have the right parts to fix it but that would explain how fuel was getting under the crankcase in abundance so this bag of something this is the original sierra well i say original it's not original johnson but it's old school Sierra parts. It says it's for a V4, but all these parts were interchangeable back in the this time. Or they they fit a lot of things. I guess they're not really interchangeable. Uh oh. Uh oh.
So this has some indentions on it, but I think that's just from wear over time because it's definitely the same bolt pattern. Bolt pattern, same rubbery material. What I see different though is this, but this might go. We haven't busted it down all the way. I think this is for the bowl. We got to bust. Yeah, we can't get that bowl off, remember? Well, we're, we're not going to... We're not going to hurt a, a good thing. Since we got another filter. So it looks like there's a spring that goes right here. We're gonna figure out how this soaks my hand in gasoline. Idiot. It's good for the skin. That's a little spring valve. Looks like it's fine. And there's it's here. And there's another seal here, but I'm guessing the filter. Yeah, that was in. I remember that. Goes up in there. Yeah, yeah, it goes up in there, and and then there's a nice seal for this guy right here. Where's that right angle pick? Did it wear out and you removed it? Yeah, or? I think that's another reason why I put a fill filter on there. Because it had the little pre-filter and then it fucked off. Yeah. Do we have that gasket? Yeah. Which, like we said, this seemed pretty functional, but we've got... Is that the same size? It looks bigger, or maybe it's just the color. I think it's just the color. Okay. We've got some new stuff here, so... Once you go white, it should... We'll be white-black. How to get canceled on YouTube. It's a, there's a, it's a guy. Look him up. So that sits nice. Was this? Okay, so this was in the top. I think they're the same. Yeah, but this goes in, and then that goes. Oh. Oh, it's keyed. So this goes in the bottom. See this keyway here? Yeah. So this guy only goes in one direction, like that gay ass band. It's interesting because this one, which was it? It was this way? Uh, yeah, it was that way. Because I thought it was the end of that big ass thing. But this only goes in one way. So we're going to show you how not to rebuild this, put it back together, and then we'll show you how to do it the right way. So these valves have something to do with actuating fuel. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea how it works. I know it works off crankcase pressure and all these springs doing their thing. So well, at least we know we found an obvious problem, and that's what we look for with these things because you don't really want to just replace parts for the sake of replacing parts. So the next question, the big question oh, here. Yeah. You is, hold this up to the light, you definitely can see a hole in it. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing before, because literally, I mean you just I mean there's a there's a there's a pretty big hole there. So the real question is how does this 
How does this go back together? Because we don't know. There should be another, yeah. <laughs> so I think a spring goes. All right, folks, we're gonna pull up the uh, diagram on how this goes together and we'll be white black. So I know that this is together, Action. right? All right, so we got our parts diagram. So big spring goes first. Then you have a little end cap here. Protects the diaphragm from the spring. Then the diaphragm is gonna go here. And then, the fuck did the other spring just go? The secondary spring. Should I try to hold the diaphragm? Are you good? Goes. Kind of just floats. I think it basically. I thought it went here. There was. Because look. You're right. That was. So the second spring goes there. So the first spring presses there. Maybe we should put everything on that with the screws holding the diaphragm on that so we can set it on to the oh so anyways don't tear it um i can't fill the hole spit on it huck is that still relevant? Hop to it? No. Yeah. Damn. Uh oh. I can't find the hole. I think it's a little, uh. Wall it out. This is just. I'm fighting this. Is this uh, a bad idea? I don't know. I don't know what was a good idea, quite honestly. Maybe we should just start with those and then maybe we should tip that back up and put that spring back in place and then we'll try to start. Okay, so the spring's still there, so the cap goes on. So we'll if you kind of position that, turn it, yeah. So we've at least got those sides. Again? What do you want? <laughs> Alright folks, we'll be getting dinner in a minute. Oh shit. What? I just want to make sure I'm... I think it's still doing okay. Oh yeah, look, here's the fucking diagram of that too. So that, yeah, that basket goes in there. What about you? We just gotta ease her down so we don't mess up that diaphragm. <laughs> well, we're recorded here. Does it seem to be? Flattening out evenly. Yeah. Just work it like a like a head. I'm going caddy corner. It's weird because it was pumping really well for having a fucking hole in it that was spitting fuel into the crankcase, right? <laughs> or maybe it wasn't. Well, no, we know it was pumping. Maybe it shot that fuel hand out of that. pump was pumping. You think that was maybe pressurizing that, even though this wasn't? It could be because it was just blowing past because the air was allowing to suck in here, which this would explain why we didn't get a hard primer bulb because there's constantly just air in the system. So that's just a makes a big air leak for such a small hole. Should I, should I put some pressure on these? Yeah, I'd just, you know, torque them just a little bit at a, at a time.
Should I mount it? Yeah, I think we're going to leave the, the bowl and stuff alone and put those parts back. I think she's... I guess they just wanted to make this bigger just in case. Hey, let's... It works. I don't, I don't taste any air leaks. Did you taste any gas? A little bit. No, oh God. We don't want to taste gas. Oh shit. So I know you can't see me camera, but we are reinstalling this uh, pulse pump to the block. Well, folks, we got this reinstalled. I probably need to get some hose clamps, but got this reinstalled with the new diaphragm in it, and we're about to crank her over and try to avoid spitting gas all over, because earlier it was just pouring gas everywhere. All right, guys, so, wow, that is really bright. Three. We're going we're gonna to see if we get some... Uh, Clear out some fuel out of the cylinder. Oh, yeah. Not a drop of fuel coming out of that motherfucker. That's yeah, nice. Let me look at the, watch the bull again. Did you Wait. pump fuel into it or? No. Well, there wasn't fuel in there a minute. Or we drained it out of there. Okay. So it's pulled fuel into it. Let me pump up the jam. You, uh. Shall I put the spark plugs back in? Well, let's. Let me see if this hardens up. It's not hardening up, but I think that could be due to our uh, setup here. I think it's here. due to it not being an actual boat siphon pump, whatever, bubble. Right. Yeah, let's, uh, here, I'll pop the... Put the sparculators back in. Let me. <laughs> Damn, fans blowing that right at me. That's how I felt whenever you yeah. fucking spun it over the first time. I didn't time. know it was going to spit fuel like that. I, well, I didn't think it was going to spit that much, but, you know. That's why I was like, if we get spark right now, this whole house is going to burn down. <laughs> I don't think we're, getting, like I don't think we're getting any spark out of there with that much gas. Where's my... Uh... 
He's a... Uh, I don't know what these are supposed to be gapped at. I think it's... Something. If it sparks, it sparks. Maybe I should take her out of gear. <laughs> Have we had it in gear? Yeah, because I moved that shifter so I could tighten up that screw. Hell yeah. I like running it in gear. Wear it with your leg next to it. Food. We're gonna go get food in a minute, folks. Calm down. No. Food. From where? What a burger. I guess. We're gonna go to Whataburger and order chicken. Yeah, we'll 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 fix up these lines at a later point, but yeah, right now we're just we want her to fire. 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 So, but somebody uh, spilled fuel all over my tailgate. Yeah. Whenever whenever I crank this, we uh, make sure that gas can don't fly off. <laughs> all right, let me I'm gonna turn this back. Cause I think somewhere in there. This, hold this, choke that, fire. heat probably <laughs> well <laughs> we fixed it yay time to go to the lake <laughs> load her up